I'm on my way to investigate the ambush site, and... I don't know, it's like... We came here to find out what's really going on, and the information that we did find, it's like... Sometimes, some things are better left to not be found. Find, sorry, can't talk. Sometimes for not to know than to know, but at this point... We can't just go back now. Okay, so what does that mean, Alloy? And is there any more? I have a good feeling that's not the only thing we're going to be looking at here. What's this? So much blood. I mean, it could be the blood of the enemies that we just what killed too. Straps. straps? Huh. Okay. Armor straps. What? So fresh blood, I'm assuming, not because of us? A massacre. So I assume the bodies were originally killed in this area and then they were moved to the to the last location that we first started the investigation here. This is Lover of Ladies, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and also hit the notification button so you know when I upload my videos as well. I'm also going to be leaving a link down below so you are able to check out my first coloring book, Taco Dreams, which is now available on Amazon. Check it out if you like coloring books. So, with the ambush site, is there anything else I need to look at here? I could have sworn... Maybe I missed something. These look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. Don't tell me they turned on her too. That's sick. This is horrible. So she just walked into a trap the whole time. This is so depressing. I don't know. It's like... She didn't deserve to die. She really didn't. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. Okay, so... Let's examine the tripod here. Took me a hot minute to figure out what's the last piece that I need to look at. There, by the tripod. Okay, so now that we have all the clues here. This is Ursus helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. Alright, I'm gonna let so you cook. Far, your theories are better than other people's facts. Alright. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. Hence why... Hence why there's no blood on the weapons. Why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. But what exactly? A bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursus face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. How you know that's her body she though? She was unrecognizable. Exactly. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. 
So it could have been anyone, even Ursa. That way you won't be able to properly identify her, but only assume it's her. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... She's alive. She could possibly be alive. Could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Okay. Whew. At least we know what's going on. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Blameless? You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. Oh, this may not be a trap. The Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tailor with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. I don't like that snarky little comment, blameless, whatever your name is. But I'll go visit the Sun King as long as I'm able to see Aaron, because we have some interesting details pertaining to his sister. I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but... Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. That's a very interesting metaphor. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. Okay. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. I'll be the judge of that. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. The wow! Sister, must assume she is still alive. They switched the bodies! I will not but for what? We only know she was taken, not who took her. Exactly. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durbar. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoran had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliff. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoran. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. That's all we need. Perhaps Just a few. Exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Are you asking or ordering me? Marad, let me discuss it with her privately. Okay. I you and I oppose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. So speak. What do you want? It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Because she is your right-hand man, that's why. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. Oh, no. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. Sounds like an understatement. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. Oh no, that's his motive. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? What, to get back at he you guys? She betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Yeah, I would just step back too. That's and she came to me. 
doing too much. Together we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. That's his true motive. Devo has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. Damn, I feel, I feel bad for Ursula. I really do. She got caught in all of this. And now she's guilty by association. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? Yeah, what's Black that about? liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. What is it? Neither do I. Oh, wow. Shocker. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. You know... I'm starting to like this Sun King. He he seems very humble. I'm not gonna lie. And that's pretty rare with people in power nowadays. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. All of it. I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. So he's a very popular and wanted man, little by little, I what guess. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Who ever Since thought about that concept in the first place? Horrible. Knew this, of course, For what? And planned it well. I bet they would be the type to be big fans of the emails because sacrificing people thinking that would solve problems is not the vibes. I'm sorry, that's doing way too much. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Wow, and that? he's begging. Rod, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Okay, will do. Thank you. Oh, wait, what's that? A book of carefully copied glyphics. Okay, cool. So now that I got to know the Song King a little bit, he seems to be a really good humble man trying to undo a lot of his father's sins. Good luck to him, honestly, because that is a lot of bloodshed that he needs to clean out and big shoes to fill. But it seems like he's definitely going into the right direction, so I can't wait to see how this tribe is going to move forward with him as the ruler. Someone over there. Wow, that description is totally not suspicious. Let me be nosy enough to see what he wants. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Vilgund, really? Did you really? come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Yeah, yeah, stick to the point. 
Look, she's not I even. I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame mm -hmm. machines, the rumor said. She has no so patience I, uh, for any bull I crap, seriously. Investigate. Just investigate, that's all. Mm -hmm. Those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Really? Okay, so... So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? Yeah, give me all the details. Yeah. I want to know what I'm walking into. I just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them. Sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. But you're full of crap. Anyways. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> They Cold choose what? to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. Oh, no wonder. That's a lazy explorer, I'm not gonna lie. More of an opportunist. Right. Girl. A capitalist. Nora, girl. <clears throat> what? Excuse me? Oh, Huntress. Opportunities. I like that, Risky Huntress. Opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. <laughs> if it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Payment on return. Yeah, I'll search for that camp. Seems like a very interesting opportunity for me to just check it out myself. After doing a long, long, long time of traveling, I finally got close enough to reach the Banu camp. I see there's a couple of machines here, so I'm just going to try and... The new camp that Vilgen told me about. Move as quietly as possible. But knowing how I play this game, quiet is definitely not my forte. I should kill them, huh? Let me see. Am I a murderer, though? Interesting. Let me go ahead and craft some ammo here because I feel like I feel like things are about to go crazy here. Yeah, the machines are just pretty much chilled. Very interesting. If they're pretty chilled, can I just walk on by? Holy cow! Wow! These people are living in harmony. It's insane. Wow, they're not really doing anything. So they are able to override the machines like how I do. Okay, so I assume I'll talk to this guy right here, right? This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Huh. Interesting. 
These Banooks are very friendly people. I'm impressed. And boy, this is a nice view. One that I am not trying to die from. Sorry, excuse me. Thank you. Rewarding what skill? And also, I'm gonna take your supply crate. Thank you. Need that. Wow, they are just living in harmony here. And they have so much supply crates. I'm definitely gonna take them all. Clearly. Okay, philosopher. Okay, so... Hold on. Investigate, sure. This is amazing. This is a very peaceful area. And I just love how they're letting me take all of their stuff, too. So funny. Was she exiled to wander? Uh, yes. I mean, I'm right here. You can just ask me. Instead of acting like you can't see me or anything. Okay, so I'll talk to this merchant here since... Oh, I thought I was able to at least have some dialogue. Okay, so I'm here to investigate, right? Talk to the Banuk. I'm gonna talk to that person, see if I'm able to have some dialogue here. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Band Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world? The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Okay, that's cool. Let me go ahead and take your supply crates. Should have brought a cart. While you guys welcome your mystery. Damn, there's so much. Okay. So, Shaman, I talked to already. Who else can I speak with? What about you? Can I talk to you? I don't like spending so long away from the hunt. Makes my muscles twitch. Okay, my bad. To see these machines up close like this, it's grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. Dong? So let me As in poop? I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. A challenge I accepted. But when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Takuk says it's a gift. <sighs> what is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. Okay, so she hates it here. Damn, okay. What about you? What do you have to say about all this? Nothing? I'll take the supply crate. I'd Thank you. Something. I'm talking to anyone and everyone I, I'm trying to have a dialogue with. No? Wait, wait. Dialogue option? No? The last hunt was good enough. Struck swift as snow and already going home. This is pretty interesting and all, but who do I have to talk to exactly? Let me go ahead and talk to these people right here. Maybe they'll have something for me to say. No? You have nothing to say to me? Greet? No? What about you? Do you have anything to say to me? The shamans say the herds move this way. Okay. 
What about you? What do you what do you have to say? The spoils of the hunt have been a little light lately. We should find a few machines, earn the spirit's favor. Okay, that's cool. So these NPCs are not really telling me who I should talk to. I am a little bit confused. I'm getting some information here and there, but it's like maybe I just want to get this little mini quest over with. So I'll be able to keep on going. Do you have something to say? No? Oh. Should head north. North. Where the ice and snow go. Banuk lands are harsher than these. Hunting fear is relaxing. I'm talking to all of these NPCs, <laughs> and yet this quest is telling me I need to talk to more. Who am I missing exactly? We'll see what the shamans have learned from the machine spirits. Shamans. I mean, we should get back out and track the herd if we want to maintain the rest. I mean, I did talk to a shaman. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Do I talk to you? We should head north. North where the ice and snow come. Okay, so thank you for not helping me with my quest. Who do I need to talk to, though? Seriously. What do I need to do? I feel like I'm just walking around aimlessly because I just don't know what to do. Same. Perhaps the machines are glad to be separated from their herds, too. Right, right, sure. As if the machines actually love us. As if the machines actually have enough emotional power to dictate Same their actions. The I don't see anything of interest here. These lands are filled with noise. You know what? Let me let me use this fireplace right here. Tomorrow we'll see what the shamans have learned from the machine spirits. You know what? I don't know what to do. I'll definitely try and do a little bit of research on the Horizon Zero Dawn wiki. See what I need to do for this quest because I'm just actually pretty lost. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.